Hi girls and guys, it's Mr. Tracky and we're on the right track. So guys, the pre-order figures have been released for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and as you can see on the screen now, as of May the 14th, there have been 33,000 pre-orders on the PS4 for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and 30,000 on the N Xbox. Uh, last year, May the 16th, Black Ops 3 pre-orders were just above 400,000 for the Xbox and just below 300,000 for the PlayStation 4. Now that is an astronomical difference at the moment. However, I am hearing a lot of people saying Call of Duty is definitely dead looking at that, blah blah blah. But I'm going to give you my perspective. Now what I personally think is going on here is people are being very very cautious before they part with their money remember the game doesn't come out till november but i think this is one of the first call of duties in a long long time where people are actually want to know more before they spend their, their money on this game now that's my personal opinion you can believe i'm wrong or not i don't know but i personally believe that it's nothing to do with Call of Duty being dead. It's literally a case of E3 is round the corner. As we know, it's it's literally in a couple of days. And I believe it's up to Infin Infinity Ward now to make or break their Call of Duty. They need to be delivering a great piece of multiplayer uh, at the E3, which I personally think they will. Um, they haven't been working on this game for three years for nothing. People are butthurt about it being in space, but as we know, the development cycle is three years. They started working on this game way before they knew that the community was pissed off at the game. Pissed off for a game that you've never played? I don't really see the sense in that. However, that's another argument for another video and another day. So, what do you think? Do you think that these pre-orders are low on the basis that a load of people are going to buy Bat um, Battlefield 1 instead. I don't personally think so, as a lot of people I know that went over to Battlefield as Call of Duty players came right back over. I mean, a lot of people that I know disliked Advanced Warfare, came off it for about a month and then returned to it or returned to Ghost. Um, but I personally think the pre-orders are really low on the basis that people want to see more about this game and really they are waiting for the multiplayer reveal instead of doing what most Call of Duty fans do which is pretty similar to the FIFA fans out there they see a new release that is Call of Duty they buy it regardless which is what most people are going to do let's not beat around the bush and make up lies here most people even the haters are going to buy this game just because it says Call of Duty in the title. Guys, that is my opinion. As always, you don't have to agree with me, but I would like to hear yours. You know, your opinions are monumental, in my opinion, on this channel. And uh, I definitely appreciate everyone, whether it's a bad or a good one. Guys, that is it for this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, thank you. Don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.